Hello and welcome to the Fearfully and Wonderfully Made podcast. My name is Jen and I'm from Out of the Darkness Ministry. This podcast is dedicated to women's Bible study. So thank you and I really hope that this edifies you in some way. Hello and welcome. And like the intro said, my name is Jen and I'm from Out of the Darkness Ministry. So before I get started with this episode, if you need a Bible or if you know someone who needs a Bible, I would encourage you to go over to our website at www.outofthedarknessministry.com. And at our website, you can request a free Bible and we'll send it to you wherever you are in the world. We also have prayer. So if you have prayer requests, you can fill out a form and that'll go straight to our phone. And as soon as we get it, we pray for you. And you'll have the option if you want to put it on the prayer wall or or not. So yeah, I, I really hope that this episode that I'm doing will encourage you today and help you with whatever you are dealing with. So recently, I was online and I saw this breakdown. I can't even remember where I seen it, but I know um, you could probably find it on Google um, or like Pinterest or something. And it's this line for line breakdown of Psalms 23. And so I'm going to talk about that. I didn't come up with this or anything. This is just something that I saw. And then as I was reading it, I I see, I see these things. (laughs) So I am going to Flip to Psalms 23. I'll be reading it out of the new, um, not new living translation. I'll be reading it out of the, the um, NKJV. So I'm going to read Psalms chapter 23 and I'm going to read the whole chapter and then I'm going to break it down line for line and I'll show you what that looks like after I read it. All right, so it says... The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So that is Psalms 23. And a lot of people have heard that whole chapter before. It is a very popular chapter. But do you know what it means? Have you listened to have you listened to it as you read it? Have you paid attention to each line? Okay, so let's do a line for line breakdown. Okay, so the first line it says, "The Lord is my shepherd." So what does that mean? What does it mean that the Lord is your shepherd? It means that you have a personal relationship with God. The Lord is my shepherd. So um, David, who wrote this Psalms, he is saying that he has a personal relationship with God because the Lord is his shepherd. And what does a shepherd do? A shepherd protects the flock. It, um, the shepherd keeps the flock safe. And um, let me go on to the next to the next line. It says, I shall not want. So what does that mean? It means that God supplies David's needs. He supplies our needs. He makes me lie down in green pastures. That can mean resting in the Lord. And in some translations, 
it actually says that the Lord um, makes him rest in green pastures. But um, I'm reading out of, like I said, the New King James Version. And in this line, it says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. And that means that he's resting, resting in the Lord. He leads me beside the still waters, a refreshing He restores my soul. So when something is restored, it's usually being healed. So a process of healing. He leads me in the path of righteousness. So he guides me for his name's sake. So we can see that there's a purpose. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, And we're walking through valleys that can resemble being tested. We know that when we are in our Christian walks, sometimes we go through valleys and sometimes it's hard. Um, But in those times, if we can recognize that those are tests, then that should help comfort us. And then the next line is, I will fear no evil. So I think it's really cool that David puts that in after uh, he writes that he's, uh, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So even though he's walking through that valley of the shadow of death, he knows that he is being protected. For you are with me. That is faithfulness. God is with us. God is faithful. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Through discipline, we can find comfort. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So there's hope and also protection. You anoint my head with oil. And I I find comfort in that... He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And then it seems like, and I could be wrong, so please take it to scripture. It seems like that is, I'm wondering if he's being anointed in the presence of his enemies. Because it says, um, and this is verse 5, it says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. Well, anointing my head with oil is sanctification to make holy. My cup runs over. That is an abundance. Because, you know, I'm a very visual person and I could just see like a cup setting on a table and then either water or oil being poured into the cup and then the cup, just the water and it keeps rising until it gets to the top. And then the water is still being poured into the cup until the cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I see this as fruit of the Spirit. Blessings. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Security in the Lord. So David saying that he will dwell in the house of the Lord, that he is secure in the Lord. And then forever, eternity. And as I was reading this, because I've read Psalms 23 many, many, many times, and I've um, highlighted it and I wrote it down many times, but this was the first time that I actually seen it being broke down line for line. And then once I seen what each line really meant and we need to be Bereans. And so when I say that is we need to not take everything that everyone says about the Bible as pure facts, but look at it um, ourselves. We need to dig into the word and we need to ask God for that knowledge in the word. And, um, Take what people say, 
but line it up with the scripture and make sure it's so. And so when I was looking at that and I was seeing, wow, I did not realize that. I didn't realize that the Lord is my shepherd. That is a personal relationship. I should know this. I should know that that's what that means. But it took me actually seeing the little, um, the verses broke down to realize, oh my goodness, that is so true, is David was talking about his personal relationship with God. So the Lord is my shepherd, having a personal relationship. I shall not want. God supplies my needs. He makes me lie down in green pastures, resting in the Lord. He leads me beside the still waters, refreshing. He restores my soul, healing. He leads me in the path of righteousness, guidance, for his name's sake, purpose. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, testing, I will fear no evil, protection, for you are with me faithfulness. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Through discipline, there is comfort. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hope. You anoint my head with oil. Sanctification. My cup runs over. Abundance. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Fruit of the Spirit, or blessings, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord, security in the Lord, forever, eternity. And so this episode isn't going to be a very long episode, but I really hope that you think about this, that you meditate on this chapter and and see if see what you get out of it. So Uh, Thank you. Thank you for listening to this podcast. And like I said, this episode isn't going to be very long, but I hope that you get something out of it. I hope that it edifies you. I hope that it blesses you. And I hope that you can bless others with it. So thanks again for listening to this podcast. And I hope that you have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.